We begin tonight with Ontario ready to roll out vaccines starting next Tuesday. Also, Ontario's medical leaders say recent lockdown restrictions have not had the same impact compared to measures in the first wave. This follows the province's latest COVID-19 projections report. Jason Gaidola joins us now with details. Jason. The province says that the current uh, lockdown restrictions in places like Toronto and Peel had less of an impact on uh, things like mobility and also likely on contacts compared to the first wave. This is one of the many projections that were released this afternoon by the province. The province says that the, uh, that the current projections are showing that the case count will continue to climb and given the current rate of uh, growth, the daily average could reach close to 4,000 cases a day by early January. Uh, the report also mentioned overall deaths are growing and the province could see more than 25 a day by next year. Also more than 200 ICU beds are occupied and access to care uh, could become more difficult given the rates as well. Ontario's chief medical officer David Williams says a big problem is stemming from tracing interviews. One thing we're finding often with people uh, these days when they're doing some interviews, they'll say, have you had any significant contacts? They say, no, I don't think so. I don't know how I got to be positive. And when you ask them later on about it, they say, well, I did have some congregate gatherings with friends without masking, that kind of stuff, but they didn't have any. They, were, they didn't say they were sick at all. Now, Ontario did record a new high once again today, nine, uh, 1,983 cases. And the timing could not be more critical as the new Pfizer vaccine will arrive Monday and shots will be administered by Tuesday. Rick Hilliard says the province will get about 6,000 doses of the vaccine. The shipments will be sent to two hospitals, one in Toronto, the other in Ottawa. Shots will be prioritized to frontline workers and people in long-term care. Rick Hillier says more are, are on the way this month. For the rest of December, we believe that we will receive 90,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine. And we will roll them out to 13 centres, 13 hospitals, which will become vaccination sites across Ontario. Now, people who do qualify for the Pfizer vaccine shot uh, will receive two doses. Now, the vaccine does require a deep freeze storage. So uh, each person that does get the first shot has to wait about 28 days before receiving the second one.